Hey guys, so I've been looking at 1 John 3, and verse 20, like, I felt like I understand this, but at the same time, hmm, I feel like there's more, something that I'm missing, or maybe just more that I should be getting from this. And so, a lot of times whenever I do that, whenever I have that feeling, I look up a different translation, and then I look up sometimes three or four translations, try to get a good idea, um, but the message translation of this just kind of blew me away. It says, my dear children, let us not talk about love, let's practice real love. This is the only way we know we're living truly, living in God's reality. It's also the way to shut down debilitating self-criticism, even when there is something to it. For God is greater than our worried hearts and knows more about us than we do ourselves. Man, how many times have I gotten myself into the debilitating self-criticism? How many times have I said to myself, oh man, I'm so much, I should be better than that. I mean, I can't, and I, I think of that and I iron, I try to say, I can't do that because I'm not good enough yet. And I kind of, I just make all these different excuses and all this different stuff because I'm so focused on myself. And then one of the things that's in that scripture right there too is, you know, this is how we know that we are living truly, living in God's reality, which tells me, oh man, whenever I'm so focused on myself and being self-critical, I am not living in God's reality. And that just kind of, that can, that just kind of rocked me a little bit because I'm like, man, okay, so I need to step back. I need to start thinking and I need to start living that love that it talks about without the self-criticism. And it goes on to talk even more. I just, I recommend you to just read that whole chapter um, in, in the Message Bible and the NIV and the King James. Just kind of jump around with it, but you'll get such revelation because, man, how many times do we get caught up in ourself, get caught up in our own stuff, and we just criticize ourselves, and we just, and it's like, man, don't you realize God knows more about you than you even know of yourself? It's time for you to move into his reality. And that's what I feel like God's saying in this. Um, I just highly recommend like, if, if you're criticizing yourself, if you're spending a lot of time trying to perfect yourself or trying to overanalyze yourself, stop. Love God. Love others. And learn to love yourself. Because then you'll start to live in God's reality. Thanks for taking a minute.